Welcome back, Canaanites. It's officially October, so let's look back on September and everything that came with it. Starting us off is in case you missed it. Due to packs at the start of the month and getting sick more than a couple times and having to read two books, last month was very light on videos. I hope to correct that this month, but for now, let's look at last month. First up, we had a video going over the armor abilities in Halo Reach, continuing the Reach Primer series, followed by a spoiler-free review of Halo Oblivion, the sequel to last year's Halo Silent Storm. And that's it. Links to both are in the description box below. After that, we have official news and releases. Starting off the month was the conclusion of Halo Outpost Discovery. It was an amazing experience in so many ways, and I sincerely hope that 343 can bring it back bigger and better in the years to come, and hopefully in places outside the United States so more fans can enjoy it. From there, we had a great cannon fodder that dove into the lore of Outpost Discovery and many of the things that appeared there. We'll cover that in detail during this month, perhaps this week or weekend, depending on my work schedule. But one thing to note right off the bat is that this cannon fodder saw the release of a few panels from Outpost Discovery. The right stuff from Chicago and Anaheim, in which various Halo authors sat down and talked about the writing process, and Cannon Fodder Live from Houston. All are great watches for lore fans and can be found in the Cannon Fodder article linked below, directly linked below, or in the cards at the top right of this video, the little eye icon at the top right. After that, we had the 9th anniversary of Halo Reach on the 14th, then there was the 10-year anniversary of Halo 3 ODST, my personal favorite Halo game, on the 22nd, commemorated by an ODST Slayer playlist in Halo 5. And on September 25th, we had the 12th anniversary of Halo 3, commemorated with a Halo 3 throwback playlist in Halo 5. I had really hoped to celebrate ODST's anniversary with a video, but that obviously didn't happen. Just too much going on this month. On the 24th, we got the release of Halo Oblivion and Master Chief Story, the sequel to last year's Silent Storm. Once again, we follow John 117 and Blue Team during the early years of the Human Covenant War. It's a fantastic read that I hope you all will consider picking up. And speaking of books, while it's not a September event, today sees the release of Halo Battleborn, Meridian Divide, the sequel to January's Halo Battleborn. Another fun read, keep an eye on this channel later today for a video on that. On the 26th, we got our first news of Halo Reach's first Xbox flight. While no date was given, the flight is planned to include several game types from Social 2v2, 4v4, and 8v8, to competitive game types like Team Hardcore and my personal favorite, Invasion. Finally, we got an employee spotlight on Corinne Robinson, Senior Halo Franchise Manager. She oversees the franchise team that works to keep everything on brand, in essence, from direct story-related material, lore, and objects, to partnership projects like Minecraft, Forza, etc. It's a great read with fantastic insights, as always. Be sure to check it out, along with other employee spotlights they've done over there. At the time of writing this, there's no MCC development blog out, but if one is released by the time this video goes out, you can find it in the description box below, along with links to every bit of news already mentioned. With that, we come to our final section, the community shoutouts. Sadly, I think this will once again be on the lighter side, simply because I'm working to get two videos out for today, but I hope to correct that going forward. But for now, let's take a look at what we have. Starting things off is this amazing community snapshot of the Halo community by Ascend Hyperion, featuring the custom Spartans of dozens of community members. It really is an embodiment of what I love about this community, which is people coming together and creating amazing works and just enjoying Halo. You can check out Ascend on Twitter and YouTube. Next up is something I'm so excited to finally see finished, A Little Bit of Luck, a Halo comic by Justin Grosje, and I hope I got your name right. We talked about this a little while back. It's a comic about an interaction between John 117 and Dr. Halsey on Zeta Halo, and God is it amazing. It perfectly encapsulates the relationship between these characters and the nature of luck for John. It's just fantastic. Be sure to check it out and give Justin a follow. After that, we have a new channel called Religious Fervor. Right now, they have a couple videos going over some Covenant topics. If you're a fan of Covenant lore, be sure to check them out. Next, we have a new favorite, Installation00, who, among other videos this month, made a deep dive into the Spartan 3 augmentations. As I like to think he's known for by now, he goes into ridiculous levels of detail on these augmentations, their effects, and more. Be sure to check it out and give him a subscription. 
From there, we have this amazing Pillar of Autumn construction in Minecraft, which I can only imagine how much time and effort went into it. It was created by Ralph McSavage, be sure to check him out on Twitter. Next up is a name I think some of you will probably know, to Spearhead. He's done a ton of amazing videos over the years, and this month he released a great video covering Halo's appearances in other games, such as Hal's Armor and Fable 2. He's a funny guy, and the Bionicle cutaway gags always endear me to him, so check him out and consider subscribing. Also, if you head over there, be sure to congratulate the guy on hitting 100,000 subscribers. He more than deserves it. After that, we have another familiar name, Late Night Gaming. The guy does a ton of great videos, but two that caught my eye this month were on Project Lemuria, which should sound familiar by now. His first video covers the classic Lemuria fan campaign, and the second covers the SPV3 remake that recently came out, and compares the remake to the original. Both videos are great, so check them out, and consider subscribing. LNG is so close to 100k. From there, we have this fantastic Reach render by Ethereal EOD in celebration of Reach's 9th anniversary. Check him out on Twitter. After that, we have an amazing artist named, and I hope I get this right, Kawasas00. He recently made this amazing portrait of a field marshal for Sins of the Prophets. Check him out on DeviantArt. Next up, let's talk about Downfall and ODST Story. If you don't recall, this is a fan game where players take control of an ODST during the fall of Tribute. This month, they released a look at an SMG model and concept art of a CCPD officer. Check out the project on Twitter and give it a follow. From there, we have this amazing piece depicting a Horuspus, a type of Forerunner, by Stellar State Logic. Stellar does a lot of amazing pieces each month, but this one in particular caught my eye. It's so accurate to what I imagined when reading the Forerunner saga, hard light noodles and all. Check her out on Twitter and DeviantArt. Next are a few renders by Spartans Owen and Hazel by Mr. Skits, a very talented screenshot artist, as you can see. Check him out on Twitter. After that, we have a hilarious little animation by Forged in Light. Check him out on Twitter. Then we have a returning shoutout, Tom Jurassic. He releases several Halo Mega Constructs pictures each month, but two in particular that caught my eye this month were this Halo Wars 2 one and this other one celebrating Halo 3 ODST. Check them out, and check out his other work on Twitter. After that, we have an amazing cosplay of Hazop Mjolnir Armor by cosplayer Robert Letts. He does some amazing cosplay, it's always highly detailed. Check him out on Twitter. Next up is this hilarious and spectacular stop-motion Mega Constructs animation by Charlie Rose, featuring Master Chief doing more and more ridiculous gun-spinning tricks. Check him out on Twitter and YouTube. From there, we have some cool cosplay pics from Outpost Discovery with cosplayer Thunderstorm Cosplay. You can see him here in the cut Halo 4 Hayabusa armor with 343 employee Sarah Campbell in her amazing Cortana cosplay. Check out Thunderstorm on Twitter. Next is this awesome French Halo community called Halo Creation. They were recently kind enough to subtitle my Halo Oblivion review in French. They have their own Twitter and YouTube channels, so French or not, I encourage you to check them out. After that, we have this amazing render of Arbiter Thalvatum in his Halo 2 and Halo 5 armors by Ethan Romesburg. Check him out on Twitter. Next is a fantastic woodburn by Crazed on Twitter. This is honestly one of my favorite forms of art, so it's awesome to see Halo art in this form. Be sure to check him out. Our penultimate shoutout goes to the Finish the Fight podcast on YouTube. They're very new, but they've already got 14 episodes out. In the latest, at least at the time of this recording, they go over the Halo Interactive board game, a rather obscure Halo game that's actually pretty fun. Check them out on Twitter and YouTube. And as always, we wrap things up with a brief look at the Halo spotlights from this month on September 5th and 19th. As always, tons of amazing creations and art and more in here. The creativity of this community never ceases to amaze. And that concludes this issue of the Halo Monthly Recap. Be sure to check out all the shoutouts, links to everything are in the description box below. I've got a lot planned for October, and hopefully, hopefully time will permit me to execute on a lot, if not all of it. Fingers crossed. Until then, though, this has been Halo Canon, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, and if you really love me, hit that notification bell and leave a thumbs up. 
these both really help out the channel. I wouldn't be where I am now without your views and support, so once again, thank you. Keep on being awesome, Canaanites.